Hello America, good morning or good evening, especially Southern California and Los Angeles. Well, it could be anywhere in America or the world. I'm Superhero Troy, or Grassroots President Troy, taking the initiative to lead America to at least inform them on YouTube about what's really going on. What they don't tell you in the news or these talk shows because they're controlled and rigged. Like you pluck some grass out of your lawn and there's tiny roots at the bottom. Tiniest, some of the tiniest roots in nature. So I'm from the smallest member of the United States, a citizen, to challenge top office, the President of the United States, to be friends or friendlies, and um, make some balance instead of them doing everything for themselves to be richer and be billionaires. For the people, by the people. Anyway, what today is about, Dr. Phil McGraw. Dr. Phil McGraw, Channel 2, CBS, I believe, on at 3 p.m., Monday through Friday. I love and respect the man because uh, even though he has some really effed up Men, uh, women, and children on his show. He tries to stay nice and unjudgmental and sift through the problems and uh, solve their problem. And by talking on the television, the power of influence, so families can learn from him, learn from Dr. Phil, and be better people. I mean, the man must make over $1 million per episode. I bet you. Look it up on Google. It's like $11 million per week or something. Yet he brags that he has a cheap car or something. Less than a quarter million for a car. But what are you thinking, Dr. Phil, by having a two-day episode Monday and Tuesday about a man from Tennessee, maybe, who cares, drove 2,000 miles to be on Dr. Phil's Los Angeles show to clear his name, he has 18 women calling the police. He complained about his massaging. This man said he gave 1,163 massages in a year. And 18 women are complaining. Dr. Phil, the police, whatever. Not, not to blow him off as whatever, but whatever else. I mean, when you bring on the creepiest men in America and grill them, what do you think that does for the good single man like me, Dr. Phil? When we're having hard enough time meeting women, breaking the ice, Going on dates, keeping the dates rolling, having a solid relationship. Makes some women more scared of men. All these episodes make women more scared of men. So...
Dr. Phil, I wish you'd uh, pick and choose your people to be on your show more carefully. Use a better filter. Because even though I'm not like that, putting my genitalia on somebody's feet while massaging them, I never cross any boundaries. I'm so afraid already of what women might react to even the smallest word you know when you're not touching them you're eating dinner the slightest word always consider their feelings and emotions maybe you have an episode just for men, so the women don't see this. But you know, you can have the episodes of the bad juveniles and the rambunctious teens all day long. They're they're still love. That's fine. So please, if you see this video and you're connected with Dr. Phil on one of the social media platforms, let him know that those kind of episodes aren't appreciated because it makes life harder for the Christian single gentleman that does everything law-abiding and even makes more rules himself other than that keep up the good work love and respect Dr. Phil I uh, hope to be on your show someday and it's not just to clear my name. I didn't do anything bad. Gotta go. Love you. Bye.